Watch this video to learn how to use IOD transfers on a vintage buffet. My husband has a rule called the heavy rule. This piece of furniture broke the heavy rule. After we lugged it home, it was really dirty. So I used this orange cleaner to clean it. It was full of dirt, dust, and years of polish. Look at that dirt. The top was stained and starting to peel, so I had to sand the top of it. The rest of the piece was in good shape. Then I covered the whole piece with a coat of shellac to prevent bleed through. You can also use Salvation Solution for this. Next, I painted the piece with White Swan, my favorite DIY white paint. I sell this at GoodsomeVintageTreasures.com and at the Picket Fence Antiques and More in Newton, North Carolina. I used my little Frenchie brush to get into all those little details on the door and drawers and sides. Then I used the little sampler brush to get into the sides and to paint the flat areas. I sell this brush on my website. Next, I had a problem. The dreaded bleed through. Bleed through is when tannins and oils and finishes come up through your paint and make it look pink. To prevent it from bleeding through, I painted the whole thing another coat of shellac, especially in all those detail areas. When the shellac was dry, I filled my FIFO bottle, which means first in, first out, with white swan. And then I painted the piece of furniture a whole another coat of DIY white swan using my little Frenchie brush and my sampler brush. I painted the piece with three coats of white swan, letting it dry a day between each coat. Next, I used Big Top, which is our finished top coat to seal the piece. It's good to use it before you add your transfers, which I put on next. I chose classic bouquets for the right and left doors of the piece. It comes with four big transfers, all floral and black and whites. After I cut the piece to fit, I placed it carefully on the door, removing the backing sheet. Once you start transferring it, it will stick. You can also use paper tape to hold it on. You have a little tool you use to rub the transfer onto your piece of furniture. Putting the big top on first makes it a lot easier to add the transfer. On this door, I could not get the pull off of it, so what I did was I used an X-Acto knife and I cut just a little plus mark and then I cut around the transfer to the shape of the pull. some of the excess paper off to make it a little easier to hold the transfer as I was pressing it on. You can see I pulled a little spot off so all I did was I laid it back down, matched it up, and then rubbed that transfer back on to where it went. Easy peasy. Next, I took one of the other transfers from the set of four 
and placed it on the right door. Again, removing the backing carefully and placing it exactly where I wanted it. I did not have to work around the pool on this one because I was able to take this one off. Once I have a transfer off, I like to take my hand and press over it, and then take a soft cloth and burnish it. For the drawers, I decided to use a transfer called Label Ephemera. I won't be using all of this, I'll save part of it to use on another piece. I carefully removed the backing piece and I taped the piece up with paper tape to decide exactly where I wanted the placement of the transfer to go. Then I used my scissors to cut off the piece I did not want on the drawers. Then I use my X-Acto knife to cut between the two drawers. Then it was time to rub, 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 to rub that transfer right onto my piece of furniture. When I was finished with the transfers, I added the original pulls back to the piece. I really like how it looked. Last step is to add big top. One more coat to protect the transfers and to protect the top of the piece. And that's how you turn an old dirty buffet into a beautiful new piece. All the products you've seen used here are available at goodsandvintagetreasures.com. IOD products available at just around the corner in Lincoln, North Carolina. DIY paint available at the Picket Fence Antiques and More in Newton, North Carolina. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button, please.